Hello. Um, the last two days, I've I've had some really vivid dreams. Some of them really amazing, and some of them uh, involving violence <clears throat> that was done against me. Um, and I woke up with this huge adrenaline rush, and it it, it kept me. The latter dreams reminds me that. With Venus and Aries right now, and Mercury and Neptune and Pisces, it's really important, whether we're dreaming or especially in, in real life, we're not giving in to fear, we're not giving in to anger. Um, and actually at the, the last part, I, I, I'm not really sure if it was after I woke up or before I woke up, <clears throat> honestly, but <clears throat> with today's dream... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. It was really healing to. I mean, natural, na naturally, when being confronted with violence, the the impulse is to. Well, there's a lot of impulses potentially, but to defend oneself and then to strike back out of anger, out of ego, especially with these kind of energies that are out there. And I have Venus in the house of Aries, by the way. And Venus in Aries is a wonderful energy. There's a lot of, we'll talk about that in just a little bit, because there's a lot of really good ways to channel this energy. But as per this challenge of <clears throat> potentially getting really caught up in anger and malice, um, maybe malice isn't quite the right word, but, but violence, um, whether it's physical, especially, or, or mental, emotional. I think emotional is a key one here because that's the potential with Mercury and Neptune being in Pisces as well, is getting lost in, in our emotions. If we feel angry, not finding ways to heal, not finding ways to channel that anger into something positive and productive, going and working out, that's a key one. Um, doing something to make our lives or the lives of others better. And <clears throat> it was really healing. Again, I don't know if it was, I, I think it was after I'd woken up. Uh, yeah, that's what had happened. I woke up, I mean, 20 minutes ago max, and the adrenaline was pumping and all of this, this stuff, and I was just calming myself and reminding myself, yes, I would defend myself. That's important. Somebody is seeking to do physical violence. Um, but... But I also played it through the scenario, the exact details don't matter, but basically I was being threatened at gunpoint. And and actually in the dream, the cops had come and broken it up. And and I, I've, I've watched myself through, um, there are three individuals, uh, two males and a female. And, and I walked up to them and I, I talked to them uh, with the, the okay of, of the cops to do so. And I just talk to them as human beings. I mean, naturally, with this energy, there's a temptation to go up and say, ha, ah, ha, or, you know, or, or do something violent in turn or, or to these individuals who are threatening me or, or, or whatever. But <clears throat> instead, I, I, I consciously, because I, I, I wanted to start the day off right, and I don't, I don't want to live a life of anything but, but peace and love. Um, and I consciously tapped into the better parts of this Venus and Aries energy and the better parts of the Mercury and Neptune and Pisces and had compassion and sought to be of, of any service possible and just tell them what I saw psychologically, not in any kind of condescending way, not in any kind of ego way, but truly compassionate, almost as if uh, I was, I was, the situation was happening for that situation to occur. The previous situation, I mean. Um, I think that's something that's really great about this time is whether it's happening within our own imagination, as it did for me, or if it's happening in the outside world, to have compassion for people who are lost in their emotions, lost in negativity, lost in anger, and to not feed it. I know it can be very tempting with that Venus and Aries and the Mars and Sag and just being human beings. Um, it can be very tempting to, I think the phrase is quid pro quo, basically an eye for an eye. But I, I just wanted to share this story to, to encourage y'all to do the same because it's so healing to not get caught up in, in anger. You know, I did, I didn't do quite the same thing yesterday, but 
I, when I woke up with adrenaline coursing through my veins with the same kind of basic scenario, and I, I never have dreams like this. It's really strange. It's really interesting. Um, it was just affirming that, yes, again, I wish to be able to defend myself and to continue to do martial arts and continue to work out and all these things. But more importantly, to not get consumed by the anger now or at any time. Um, not to deny the anger, not to bury it or pretend it doesn't exist or anything like that, because that's not healthy either, but to not let it control my heart and to not lose my humanity, my dignity in, in uh, those experiences, uh, which is so, so hard to do. It, it's, so there's no, there's no shame if that happens, but it's important for our well-being and for the, the well-being of our planet that during this time or during any time, but especially during this time with these kind of energies, that we seek to mitigate that anger and channel it into productive ways, healing ways, and to have compassion for others um, after we've, you know, again, defended ourselves after we're out of, or even during that situation, but still, I mean, you know, that's... Uh, that's a practical reality is to have to defend ourselves as need be against somebody's mental or emotional or physical onslaughts. But to resist striking on the offensive, to resist striking out of just anger instead of just being on the defensive and protecting oneself and one's family, to resist <clears throat> being a part of the problem and going against peace going against compassion so uh in any case i hope you're having a wonderful day moon is in libra uh that helps a lot to be able to calm down a lot of this this aries but of course some people will be uh if they're really caught up in their their emotions in a negative way during this time it's it can be uh there can be a lot of verbal confrontations possible and again um Never, never expect there to be a confrontation that can sometimes create it, but just to be prepared for it by having a mentality, even in peacetime, of, of, I don't want conflict. I'll handle conflict if it happens, maturely, calmly, patiently, but let's, let's create as much goodness in life as possible, and that starts, and it really kind of, it starts and ends in a good way, it, it, how do I put this? It, we, can, we guide our lives more than anybody else ever could from within and our own emotions, our own thoughts. And um, if we commit to a path of, of bringing out the best in ourselves, then we're doing our part to bring out the best in the world. Peace. As always, I'm doing readings, all that stuff. Um, if you're interested or have any questions, um, uh, I offer a free 15-minute reading uh, for a Facebook review. So if you're interested in, in taking me up on the offer, please, please do. Um, or if you're just interested in reading or what have you, the uh, info is in the About section of this YouTube video and the Bio section of this Instagram video. Peace.